What's going on YouTube viewers and subscribers? Today I want to talk about a software update for the Game Capture Elgato HD. Kind of set it backwards. It was the Elgato Game Capture HD. Anyhow, this update was made on November 1st and I want to demonstrate how that you can integrate your voice onto the sound of the game without doing any external program uses like using Audacity or any audio matching in your video editing software. Elgato has integrated that all in one shot and I want to demonstrate how that I want to demonstrate for you guys how that's going to work. All right, now first things first. I want to go over a quick setup. With the Elgato Elgato Game Capture HD, you're going to need three cards, two HDMI's, one for the TV, one from the Xbox and a mini USB cord which comes in the box. Now I'm just gonna demonstrate really quickly how you set this up. You take the HDMI cord that's connected to the Xbox and Elgato includes one. This is a very, very short HDMI cord and you're going to plug it into the HDMI end slot. Now the other HDMI cord which comes from your TV, which is this cord right here, it's coming through the back of my, my desk and I'm gonna connect it to the HDMI out. I'll show you right here, if you can see. I accidentally hit my Xbox. This is gonna come from the HDMI out. And right next to it, you're gonna connect it to the USB port. Now this is where the Elgato will get its power source and also where it will transport the video from the card, from the console, to your computer. Uh, like so. So your setup should look just like this. Now, first things first, you're gonna wanna download the new beta software for which Elgato's made the update with. So I'm gonna put a link in the description box and you're gonna go to gamecatcher.com slash beta. Yes, this is beta software. And like I was saying, you're gonna need to download and update it from the original software that they have. I've been testing it out quite frequently and it's pretty stable. I haven't run into any glitches or anything like that. So this is a pretty stable beta. So go to gamecatcher.com slash beta and then you're gonna download and install it. Now, if you're PC or Mac, you're gonna choose appropriately. You know, Mac for Mac guys, PC for PC guys. Now, just a quick demo of what they added in the software. This is gonna be based off assuming you have the Elgato and had the older software. Pretty much to add the game audio knob where you can control the audio input sounds that the software catches. Nextly, you have the live commentary, which, this, which prim primarily I'm making this video to demonstrate. And you have the knob to for the volume input of the output that it records your voice and you also have live streaming for those with a twitch account unfortunately i can't demonstrate the live stream because i don't have a twitch account or i just haven't set one up yet and pretty much everything else remained the same so besides that these are your three additions right here the game audio knob the live commentary and the live streaming all right guys now here's where things start to get tricky especially those who are using turtle beaches you're gonna have to go in your xbox and you're gonna have to go to your preferences and on your preferences you're gonna have to make sure the sounds is set up properly so that way you can hear audio from the people that you're communicating with so you're going to go to voice and you're going to go to play through both that way when they talk the game volume sound lowers and you can uh do that so that's what you can see here on the game capture software it makes it both and then also i tried to adjust these volumes so you can hear better i put the game by around three four and the voice away to ten that way you can hear them much louder if not they'll sound too low in the recordings then on the Elgato capture software itself, you're gonna make sure this microphone button is clicked for the live commentary and my microphone I'm using is an Audio Technica AT2020. It's a USB condenser microphone. I have videos of me showing and setting it up. You know, you can check down below to check that out. But make sure that's checked and make sure you adjust these volumes as well. Make sure the input is decent enough where you're, you know, you sound nice and clear and loud and make sure the game audio is, you know, loud enough as well. And also it has a feature to automatically reduce game sound when you talk. So that way when your voice is speaking, just in case you're in a, let's say a gun battle in Call of Duty and a lot of grenades going off and explosions, the sound may drown out your voice and people cannot properly hear. So make sure this is checked off. Now this is optional. You know, you can do this according to the, the style or the way you want to set your video up. But, you know, for me playing, I kind of recommend it. So I'm going to join a party with a bunch of people I know and demonstrate how that sounds. So, Hey, what's going on, Tay? This is me demonstrating live commentary on the Elgato Game Capture HD. What's going on? 
it's called the Elgato Game Capture HD. Hey, what's going on, Tay? This is me demonstrating live commentary on the Elgato Game Capture HD. What's going on? Nothing. What's the name of it? It's called the Elgato Game Capture HD. Hey, what's going on, Tay? This is me demonstrating live commentary on the Elgato Game Capture HD. What's going on? It's called the Elgato Game Capture HD.